On May 21st, 2020, Philadelphia City Council received public input prior to the passage of two resolutions, 200308, resolution calling on the United States Congress and the Pennsylvania General Assembly to take immediate action to provide municipalities a comprehensive relief package to stabilize the local rental housing market and support property owners. And 200311, resolution supporting Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro in his call to all landlords in the Commonwealth in Philadelphia to provide aid to their tenants during the COVID-19 crisis and throughout its aftermath. Testifying in support of 200311 were three HAPCO board members, First Vice President Victor Pinckney, Brian Jackson, and Robert Levin. Brianna Westbrooks of the Pennsylvania Apartment Association also testified. The following is that testimony, followed by passage of the two resolutions. Brianna Westbrooks. Good morning, uh, members of City Council. My name is Brianna Westbrooks, and I represent the Pennsylvania Apartment Association. I am commenting in support of Resolution 200311. Throughout this crisis, members of the Pennsylvania Apartment Association and property owners throughout the city have proactively worked with and collaborated with Philadelphians. Resolution 200311 refers to the letter that the Attorney General Shapiro and the Pennsylvania Apartment Association co-signed together. We are very appreciative of our dialogue between our organization and the governor's office. Not only have we been working with residents to create payment plans that meet the needs of both renters and property owners, but we have also been working at the state and federal level to advocate for rental assistance for residents. In addition, the governor recently announced that the state will be issuing rent rebates early. This action, as well as additional funding towards housing from both the state and federal government, will help Philadelphians during this time. However, we do know that more can be done. The Pennsylvania Apartment Association wants to work in collaboration with all levels of government to make sure that residents and property owners receive the resources necessary to support Philadelphia. We look forward to continuing to work with you all to find solutions that keep both renters and property owners in mind. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your testimony, Mayor. I'll call Victor Pinckney again. Hello? Victor Pink yes, this is, uh, I couldn't get through before, but this is Victor Pinckney Sr. I'd like to thank the council president and, and council for allowing me to speak with uh, reference uh, the pocket of uh, oh God reference uh, to resolution two zero zero three one one. Please proceed. I call with the Say again. No, I said please proceed. Okay, the call the recommendation made by Attorney General Superaro that property owners should work with their tenants during the COVID crisis by waiving late fees for residents who have provided documentation of financial hardships in course of conduct, create payment plans for them and help them find resources to help them with expenses. Something HAPCO has been telling members to do since the beginning of the, uh, the, uh, the uh, emergency. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pinkney. Brian Jackson, can you hear me now? We hear you. How you doing? My name is Brian Jackson. Um, I appreciate your time. I currently own and manage properties in several of the council members' districts. And I wanted to call to speak in support of Resolution 200311, which obviously addresses the uh, guidance issued by Pennsylvania AG Shapiro in April that encouraged property owners to work with renters during this pandemic. Right now and for the past few months, we have been working with residents and to help them identify resources that would better suit their needs in this time of crisis, considering all of what we're, what we're all going through. So I support this resolution. I know that teamwork between all of us during this pandemic is important, and we have to continue this as we move forward. I personally have even been spending time with other landlords like myself to help them specifically deal with their tenants because everyone's situation is different. And we need, we need to understand that. That is the best course of action, in my opinion, that we work with our, our tenants as landlords 
not issue new legislation that will cause us to put us all in financial burden. Although the federal government and the state government have dedicated more resources to Philadelphians, I'm aware that more can be done to help everyone. We look forward to working with the elected officials on every level and to make sure that renters and property owners receive the attention, resources, and funding we need to get through this. I appreciate everyone's time and thank you for the opportunities to express my support. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. Thank you for your testimony. Robert Levin. This is Robert Levin. Good morning. Good morning. I'm speaking in favor of Councilman Dobbs' resolution 200311. Uh, good morning, esteemed members of council. Thank you for having my colleagues and me with you today, albeit not in person. Uh, my 111 year old fourth generation real estate uh, company handles multifamily investment building and management uh, in. Uh, council districts one, two, and three, Mr. Squeela, Mr. Johnson, Mrs. Blackwell. I also sit on the board of directors of Hapco Philadelphia, which is the largest landlord advocacy group in Philadelphia. Hapco Philadelphia represents nearly 2,000 rental property owners that own or manage nearly 20,000 low to moderate and market rate uh, single family and multifamily properties in the city. Those of us in the real estate industry in Philadelphia have long been singled out as seemingly endless sources of stopgap funding when the city uh, is cash strapped. And there have been many, many budget loans over the years, especially now in the COVID-19 world we're all struggling with. The housing sector is a resilient one and has been able to weather ups and downs of the local economy with aplomb, though it has not been easy ever-increasing taxes and regulations stifle initiative. However, in the light of the overwhelming pandemic-related issues we face now, I join my colleagues today to affirm Councilman Dom's resolution. Mr. Dom's resolution is a logical, person-first uh, approach that I and most of my contemporaries believe is the most considerate way to help our fellow man during the pandemic. By readily agreeing to tenant-specific uh, rental payment workouts and other thoughtful concessions like waiving late payment fees, landlords and tenants are better able to cope with overwhelming circumstances that both landlords and tenants face right now. It is important that landlords, tenants, and governing bodies recognize and respect each other's liabilities and limitations. Further, knowledgeable and experienced landlords who have contacts in the community and different levels of government and can clearly communicate and pass along vital information such as available financial assistance and programs from government and charitable and trade organizations are better positioned to help tenants remain current on their rent and solvent and safely sheltered and also be able to help themselves by having rent producing, tax producing, properties that enable owners to pay not only costs of property upkeep and operation, but also their own bills and feed their own families. Finally, there's been a lot of talk at all levels of government about allotments of cash, grants, and loans to be coming down the pike. It's been slow and confusing at times and likely will continue to be so as nothing like this has ever been tried. It's understandable that there will be stunts and starts. As a community of people, businesses, and consumers, we need to work together with all stakeholders. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your testimony. And we will now consider the resolutions on the second reading and the final passes calendar. Uh, Mr. Decker, can you please read the title of resolution number 200308? A resolution calling on the United States Congress and the Pennsylvania General Assembly to take immediate action to provide municipalities a comprehensive relief package to stabilize the local rental housing market and support property owners. And the chair recognizes Councilwoman Kim for a motion on the resolution. Thank you very much, Council President. And I'd like to acknowledge uh, the previous uh, public speakers who um, emphasize the importance of state and federal relief um, to complement what we are doing here in the city of Philadelphia. 
um, we compliment Attorney General Shapiro for his letter that publicly called for an extension of the eviction moratorium, the waiving of late fees, installment payment plans, and important measures to provide the thousands and thousands of renters who comprise almost half of Philadelphia households uh, to be protected in this time. And I'm glad to say that our city council body is actually leading on that by putting these things into action on the Emergency Housing Protections Act, which has a hearing next Friday in the uh, in the Committee on, on Housing. Um, but most importantly, we want the state and the federal government to provide for this. Uh, this past week, um, the House bill passed a $100 billion package um, to provide renter assistance directly to municipalities, landlords, and renters themselves. Um, it is important that it gets passed in the Senate. The state of Pennsylvania also has $3.9 billion um, in, in money, um, and our Philadelphia delegation has been discussing how some of that money can go directly uh, towards the municipalities for renter relief to support both our landlords and our renters in this important time. Um, I'm proud that we've been at the leadership of it, and I'm grateful for the chance to continue to send this message up to our Harrisburg delegation and to our federal government. And with that, I move for the adoption of the resolution. Second. Thank you. It's been moved and properly second. That resolution be adopted. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, the ayes have it, and the resolution is adopted. Mr. Decker, please read the title of resolution number 200311. A resolution supporting Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro in his call to all landlords in the Commonwealth of Phil uh, and Philadelphia to provide aid to their tenants during the COVID-19 crisis and throughout its aftermath. And Chair recognizes Councilman Dunn. <clears throat> and resolution. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for the adoption of the resolution. Second. Thank you. It has been moved and seconded that the resolution be adopted. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, ayes have it. And that resolution is adopted.